Ajá. Yo. Hey guys Scrolls, welcome back everybody to a new Minecraft Let's Build. Just sit back, relax and enjoy. And if you guys do enjoy this, make sure you give this video a like and if you do so, spank you <laughs> very, very, very much. But hands down, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for the fantastic support on the, on the previous houses we've done. You're making my day and I do love your faces. So I guess thank you, thank you and spank you. There's a lot, there's a lot of spanking in the beginning of this video. And I'm sorry about that, but I guess spank you. Previously, we've done this nasty modern house in front of us. And one feature which I adore is this little fishy tank underneath the staircase. It is absolutely breathtaking. No, you're breathtaking. And if you guys want to build this, make sure to check out the description. There should be a link for it down below. But in today's video, we're going to do something which resembles this house. And we're going to be building using the following materials. And uh, you can use whatever materials you prefer. I just love the color combination here, right? But we're going to be using smooth coarse blocks, stairs and slabs, spruce aguda planks and stairs, birch uh, planks and stairs, smooth stone, we're going to be using light grey concrete powder and then just some window penises. We're going to be building this house on the default resource pack and the shaders I'm using, for those who are wondering, are called Silders Vibrant Shaders version 1.18 high dot zip. But ladies and gentlemen, let's get to it. The most important thing about the let's build is the foundation. So do spend a little bit of extra time watching this part, because if you get this correct, everything should be lining up perfectly fine in the end, okay? But let's go for it. Three, two, one, and poop it down. Don't judge me. We clap on the first block. <laughs> it is what it is. Let's play smooth course, something like this. It's two by two. Then we're gonna dig out an area, which is two by two, and smooth course back at it again with two by two. Dig out an area which is two by two and more smooth course two by twos from above. You should be having 10 blocks in total in width over here. Then in the gaps, let's get some smooth stone and let's just place that in the far back like this. And in the front, some light gray concrete powder like a so. Just make sure that the width of this is 10 blocks in total. And then let's do some counting with Corrales. So let's jump over to this uh, side and let's do, using the smooth chords, let's do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 21 and 22. So this means we should be having 24 blocks from this one counting all the way to this. And on the back here, we're pretty much going to mirror the same shape as we have in the front. But however, we're going to skip one of the windows. So let's do a shape which is 2 by 2. And then let's extend this shape all the way until we meet pretty much with this wall over here. So I think we should be pretty much on it. Let's see here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six blocks. Then we're gonna dig down a hole, which is two by two. And let's play some smooth course, two by two. In this hole, we're gonna be using smooth stone or whatever material you prefer. And then just some light gray concrete powder. So from above, we are having this shape at this stage. One, two and one more block. We're gonna have a window which is free in width, so let's uh, mark that out with some smooth stone. And let's have more of the smooth course over here. So one, two and three. Then we're gonna have our, our doorway which is two in width, like a so. And then smooth course wall, one, two, three and four. Now we're gonna turn on the inside. And here we're gonna be using some birch stairs. And uh, well, I'm gonna be using birch as flooring. So pick whatever material you prefer. But let's do one, two, three, four, and five birch stairs and then let's just close this shape off with one two three and four of the smooth cords so from above you are having this shape it is 26 blocks in length and 10 blocks in width you've done that correctly yippee and congratulations i have not failed you young padawans i know some might find this super boring but believe me if you get the foundation correct you're good to go for the rest of the build and this is not a perfect build by any means but hopefully get some inspiration for your own creations right but as i said this is going to be a doorway leading from the pool area in the future so let's move on to the opposite side of the wall over here and let's carve out a window which is two in width and like a so so we're going to be coming in here from the pool and we have a window just on the opposite side hey why you have to be mad? It's only game. It's gonna be amazing, right? So um, that is about it. The most important thing is that it's 26 blocks counting from this one to this one, and it's gonna be 10 blocks counting from this one to this one. So in width. Then let's go over here, just on the staircase. And let's take it out by one on each side, like a so. And then we're gonna be using a smooth stone. So let's count. It's gonna be a window in the future. It's gonna be one, two, three, and four. 
Then we're gonna have our pillar using a smooth quartz, a doorway, which is two, and then let's do one and two more of the smooth quartz. Let's do the same on this side. So we're gonna be having one, two, three, and four of the smooth stone, one smooth quartz as a pillar, a doorway, which is one and two, and then one, two more of the smooth quartz. Something like this from above. I do like the smooth quartz because the texture in it kind of makes it this very easy to count, right? Or hopefully it does at least. Then let's jump down over here. Here we're gonna have a staircase going down. So let's place one and two only, all right? Just two staircases using birch or whatever material you've chosen. And let's just close it off this shape like this. Here in the back, we're gonna be taking this out by one and two blocks. Here on this side, we're gonna be taking this out by one, two, and three away from the wall. So in total, counting from this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. From above, you are having this shape. I hope at least. So now let's do the modern extension. Like this over here is the old barn, which has been renovated. And now we're going to be doing the recently added part of the house. Let's start in this corner. Let's count one, two, and three using smooth quartz. Then we're going to dig down one, two, and three. Place a wall, which is one, two, and three. Dig down one, two, and three. And place a wall, which is one, two, and three. Dig down one, two, and three. And place a wall, which is one and two only. So we have three and a hole let's fill that with some smooth stone like i saw it's gonna be a window here we have a wall which is three a window which is three a wall which is three and a window which is three and then this is only two so from above counting you should be having this shape now let's switch to spruce wood and here in the far end let's place one two three and four one thing which i really hate is when texture connects like this but for the moment we're just going to leave it be and later on we're going to tweak that then smooth stone let's dig down one two three and four and fill that with some smooth stone let's turn counting with this one one two three four and five so it's four from this side and it's five from that side then smooth quartz one and two dig down one and two and that's going to be smooth stone so pretty much this over here is going to be a window and it should be meeting with this staircase perfectly it's i know it's not much but you go into this little extension and then you have a window in the far end which can let some light in Imagine all the people living around the world. <laughs> then continue, I'm sorry. Then continue using smooth stone. One, two, and three. So that means this far end should meet up with this wall over here. From above, if I just zoom out a little bit, we are having this shape. I love the smooth core, uh, smooth stone because the little border makes it so easy to count. And back to the spruce planks. Place one, two, and three. Jump away two and place one and two. This is gonna be a little doorway here on the back. So let's place some smooth stone in the little gap. Then smooth quartz, uh, pretty much just on the opposite side of here, as you can see, we're gonna be placing this one, two, and three, but it's gonna be a little bit different than, than the other side. Cause those windows over here are gonna be leading to small rooms. You can make them bigger, but it's gonna be pretty, pretty small ones over here. Then dig down one, two, and three. Place a pillar, dig down one, two, three, four, and five. Place a pillar one, two, three, four, and five. And place a pillar in those gaps, smooth stone. It's gonna be like a long corridor over here in the back. So it's gonna be pretty much uh, windows all the way just to let some light in. So from above, if we just spin this around, you spin me around. The, the, sh 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 look something like that but let's just jump in we're also going to be making some, some rooms on the inside so let's count uh, or no, maybe not let's count but let's start on this uh, wall over here just next to the window and let's take this all the way as a little box here and then it's pretty much in the idle beholder where you want to have a doorway i kind of think maybe just here in the middle of the window would be kind of nice uh, even here would work just so you have more space for a bed or whatnot but i'm just going to place it over here and let's do the same over here. So we start just next to the window, take it all the way around here, and then just carve out a little door entrance like this. And let's do the same uno mas time, like here. Boom, and a doorway. So from above, ladies and gentlemen, this is pretty much the whole house foundation as it is. It is very simple, and if you've got this correct, you're so good to go. You're Gucci, all right? Just to go through this really quickly, this here is going to be the main entrance, all right? On this side in the old barn, we're going to have like a living room slash kitchen area, I guess, like 
for, for guests and whatnot. Then on this side, this would be a bedroom, this might be a toilet, this might be a bedroom, and here would be like a big family living room. Just separate from the from like all the guests and whatnot. I don't know. Like I'm not an architect, but just envision this, okay? One more thing I want to do. I'm gonna jump way here and uh, counting on this uh, on this corner over here. Let's dig down. One, two, place a pillar. Dig down. One, two, three, and four. Place a pillar. One, two, three, and four. Place a pillar. One and two and place pillars like this, one and two. In those gaps, we're gonna be using light gray concrete powder. There's gonna be a little shape just in the back later on. So, I don't know, you can place it, you can not place it, you can maybe wait until the house is completed and then you decide, okay, but I'm gonna have it over here. Could you even do something similar on the front over here, so counting from this corner, which is pretty much open opposite side, let's count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe, on the eight one. Place one, two, three, four, and five blocks of smooth quartz like this. So this is pretty much the, the, the whole foundation. Everything is in place. Um, it is taking shape, all right? Now I'm going to do some birch planks. So here we're going to have a little bit of a higher floor. So we're going to fill this with some birch. And the rest of the house is all up to you, as I said many, many times. But uh, I like birch because it, it does give you a little nice contrast to the whole thing. And this is the default resource pack. So obviously it is... Uh, it is light, it's bright. But I'm gonna fill this area with some uh, birch planks and I'm gonna fill all the remaining areas over here in the rooms. So this would be a, maybe a great bathroom, but you will have to add it yourselves, all right? But let me get some birch in and I'm gonna be back ASAP with you guys. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, it's amore. Kawabanga, ladies and gentlemen, we have some flooring. Next up is to erect some walls, which kind of sounds terrible. Ladies and gentlemen, next up on the agenda is to rise up some walls. And let's start here in the little extension building. So let's count with that one on the ground. One, two, three, and four. So the whole extension building is going to be four uh, blocks in height in total to begin with, like a soul. So this as well, one, two, three, one, two, three. And that is four. So wherever we have a pillar or whatever we do, it's gonna be four in height, counting from the ground. Pretty much the same with those guys outside over here. So four in height, counting from, from the ground. Like a so, like a so. Even this one on this side, because why not? Let's, don't add this yet. Let's wait until this house is completed, then you can decide if you wanna add it or not. But yeah, let's do this. Wherever we have a wall, let's, on the extension that is, let's uh, get that up by four blocks in total in height. From the ground counting. Uh, as you can see here, there's Prusa Wuda. We need to change to spruce wood, and so on and so on. Let's not touch the windows yet, okay? Let's let's leave them be for for the for the for the last thing we do on the house, because obviously windows that's fragile or glass at least, right? So let's leave that untouched for the moment. And voila, ladies and gentlemen, we have four in height in total, counting from the ground on the whole extension. Next up is we're gonna be counting with this one. This is gonna be not four; it's gonna be five. So one, two, three, four, and five. So this is gonna be a little middle part, a uh, middle piece, never be the middle piece, human centipede. But it's gonna be a little middle piece where we're gonna have the entrance. So it's gonna be a little bit of a roofing, and that's just gonna be five. And the big barn itself over here is gonna be seven. So counting with the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So pretty much go all over the place here in the barn and rise it up by seven blocks in total. And then we're gonna start stitching this up. And once again, this is not a perfect barn conversion building at all, but hopefully you get some inspiration on, on how to make your own creations. And if you do, by the way, there's a Twitter link in, my, in the description below this video. So do share your creation uh, with me, just tweet it. And uh, I will be more than happy if I just got the time to answer and check it out, all right? But uh, seven blocks in height, counting from the ground on the whole barn uh, equation over here. Seven in heights. Okay, we have four in height, counting from the ground, five in height, counting from the ground, and seven in height, counting from the ground. And it's definitely taking shape. Now we're gonna pretty much just cover all the windows and whatnot. So let's start here in the barn. We're gonna have upside down quartz, uh, smooth quartz stairs like a soul over here in the back, which is gonna cover that up with some uh, full blocks of smooth quartz. So now from the front, it looks a little bit different than the picture, but I kinda like it that way. I don't know why, I, I like it, all right? And let's do the same on the back over here. So on the top layer, which is the seventh block counting from the ground, upside down quartz stairs and full blocks on the back. What goes for this one? It's in Dio the Beholder. I think I'm gonna place an upside down quartz stair on the fourth block counting from the ground. So one, two, three, 
and four over here. And above that, let's just cover that up using the smooth chords. And let's do the same on this side. So this is gonna be a lot door entrance so on the fourth block, boom. And on top of that, smooth chords like a so. And the same on this window here. So one, two, and three. And one, two, and three going up using the smooth chords. So that is pretty much the barn covered up. I know it looks a little bit simple at this stage, but don't worry, we're gonna be putting a little bit of detail later on. What goes for this little middle piece over here? Let's do the same. So on the top layer, which is the fifth one counting from the ground up, upside down smooth coursers all the way to this side. And the same on the, the other side. One, two, three, and four and one, two for the door entrance. Let's not worry about anything else at this stage, all right? And let's do the same here in the windows. So this is gonna be one, two, three, and on the fourth one, one, two, and three. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. This over here is gonna be untouched for the moment because this glass is gonna be going all the way up, uh, way up here to the roof, all right? But we will do one over here. So on the fourth layer, upside down, smooth core stairs, here we're gonna have a door entrance and we're gonna be using the spruza stairs over here. Like so, upside down. And once more, continue using the smooth uh, chord stairs, upside down, one, two, and three. This is gonna be five in width, like this. And five over here, one, two, three, four, and five. Above, uh, above the doors over here, to the rooms, we can maybe just have like a full block of, of spruce wood, just to give it a little bit of character for the moment. Boom, and boom. And that is pretty much it when it goes for the for the, all the windows at this stage. So we got, we know where the window's gonna be, we know, we know how it's gonna look, uh, so let me just show you this from above. <laughs> I'm not sure you guys can see this from above. Hopefully I have not failed you, young Padawans, but this is what we've got at this stage. And up next on the agenda is to get the roof elevations going. So let's maybe start on the barn. Let's start here on, on this corner. So this is the seventh block over here. So let's place a smooth course there from both sides. And just to make this easy for ourselves, let's make a little staircase out of the full blocks, all right? So this is gonna be going something like this from side to side. Then we take it in by one, like this, take it in by one like this might be a very very boring roof design but uh well we'll see where this takes us so smooth uh course stairs one two three and four let me see one two three and four and five do the same from this side so one two three four and meet in the middle like that so that is going to be pretty much that roof nothing spectacular but it is what it is so we can pretty much do the same over here so let's start with uh a smooth course on the fifth block is gonna be it's gonna be one two three four and the fifth one should be a smooth course uh, stair let's do the same from this side and then pretty much do the same as we did on the on the barn just to make it easy for ourselves let's take smooth course from side to side take it in by one from side to side like this and uno mas time and boom a final one so we have smooth course one two three four five and six just to reach the, the top one two three four five and six so that is going to be the roof uh, elevation on that building that's going to be the roof elevation on this building here in the middle we can pretty much close this off because we know where there's going to be we can pretty much just get this going across all the way like this there's going to be three layers so we come in we have this little shape over here, we have that little shape over there. This middle roof over here, let's just use spruce uh, slabs and take this from side to side. If you do something different, by the way, please tweet a picture, right? Because this is this is like this is the first barn conversion I ever done. So so yeah, obviously, obviously it's it's a learning curve. Something like this. One, two, three, four and five and that is the top elevation in between here we're gonna pretty much just fill that up with uh, with some spruce stairs however since we do have a double wall let's maybe take this shape in just to make it easier for ourselves and it's gonna be looking quite snazzy from the ground level and let's do the same on this side so wherever we have a full block of smooth course just follow the, the roof uh, shape like this and then the rest of the remaining it's going to be spruce uh, stairs from side to side. Here is going to be a little bit different because obviously we're going to be having some glass panes over here. So let's get, uh, let's erect, no, let's, let's, no, 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 I'm not going to say that. Let's get some, uh, some window penises in over here. And this is going to be going all the way up to the fourth elevation. And above this, we're going to have a roof coming straight off and we're going to be using the smooth course here in the far end. So let me just do this like this. So smooth course there, just on top of the fourth uh, window pane. 
and the same from this side. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, from side to side, full blocks of smooth quartz. So we've got this shape now. And the same as the barn over here, we're gonna have from that smooth quartz there to this one. This is just gonna be filled up with, uh, with the, the spruce that would have stairs. Boring roof, but it's gonna be functional. Believe all right, so let me just do this quickly so I don't bore you guys to death. And obviously, on the inside, as you can see, the elevation is not going to be that looking. We're going to rise those walls up all the way to the top until they meet with the roof, but that's going to be for the next uh, next step. And just before we close the roof, let's just jump on the inside because having a room of this size, which is quite small, and having a ceiling height being this high is going to look really, really silly. So, on the fifth uh, layer over here, counting from the ground, let's maybe go slabs, uh, spruce slabs as an interior ceiling just to make those rooms a little bit nicer. Otherwise, it's just going to be, I don't know, it's just going to look silly having the, that ceiling height. Like this, better, much better. Have a Snickers. And then just follow the shape here and kind of close this off. Just hide away the ugliness. Could even have a secondary story over here, if wanted that is. I'm not going to have it, but it's a total possibility. And I'm not sure you need to light that up in a surviving scenario, because otherwise bad mojo might spawn. It's going to be bad for you, right? But something like this. Now let's just close this from side to side using the spruce stairs. It's boring, but it's worth it. Ladies and gentlemen, it is not much of a roof, but a roof it is indeed. Up next on the agenda is to kind of hide away the ugliness here where the textures meet. And let's do... Let's take a smooth course and let's place one, two, three and four in height. And let's maybe make this all the way until we reach the, the smooth course. So now it looks a little bit wonky, but uh, at least it hides away the texture meat. Then we're going to use uh, smooth course uh, slabs all the way here on the top elevation, just above the windows like this, all the way to the far end over here. And then we turn this and meet up with that shape. You might be but, 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 no buts. This is going to be really snazzy looking. And also we did place, or I did place some lanterns just in the rooms. Just light up the situation a little bit. But let's do the same on this side. However, we will run into a little bit of a slight problem here. And that is the far end is looking a little bit silly. Let's demolish this pillar uh, for the moment. Uh, well, let's move that pillar to about here. Let's place one more, which goes all the way up here. That is mainly so we get a nice symmetry flowing. We're gonna have this two block gap, then we have a door entrance, and then we have a window. I don't, I know, it's it's only game. Why you have to be mad? But uh, it's gonna look really snazzy. So that means we need to move everything one block in this direction. So one, two, three, and four in uh, in between. One, two, three, and four in between. Let's get rid of this guy and place them over here. So that means we would go over here and place maybe one and two just like this, four in height and slabs on the top layer, which goes all the way to this pillar and turns on that and goes all the way across to the far end. Believe. It looks a little bit meh, but that is gonna be the way we go. That is not shabby. I take it. We could even do the same as we did on the other side and have a little pillar going all the way up here just to break it off a little bit. Not needed, but it is a possibility most definitely. Like this or from above, we have a little bit of a shape which goes something like this. One thing which we could do just to prevent this from looking bland in some areas. Like for example, this was a little bit bland, right? So what if we take, uh, let's get some stone, okay? Might not be stone, but for the moment it's stone. Let's take this out by one like this and let's do one, two, three, four, five, six and seven maybe. And let's take this up by four and five maybe. I know it's not like, it doesn't have a purpose, uh, definitely not, but it does give us a little bit of a character. Yeah, 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 I like that. Let's maybe do the same over here. So let's uh, let's do this above the window like this. Let's take this all the way. Five in height, is it? One, two, three, four, and five. So pretty much the same. And let's just wrap that around this, this house corner as well. Not sure we're going to keep it, but I think this might be a little bit of a winner. Or maybe even two over here on this side. So two, then we have the window, and then it just loops around the, the wall like this. I take that. That is not bad. And maybe even the same on this side. So let's start over here. One, two, three, four, and five. And then just go across 
and take it out down straight off, right? In this wall, just to keep some privacy in the back garden, this might be going all the way to the far end and meeting up with the, the white wall which we have over there. Something like this. And this is going to be risen to 5 in height. Can maybe even have an entrance. Which goes, yeah, symmetry. <laughs> Don't ask me why. <laughs> but here we can have a back door entrance over here some, somehow. Yeah, why not? So let's take this up. This goes across and 5 in height. And this will be going all the way to the far end. We have uh, this beautiful wall over here. Can even have a little fireplace on the inside. And then we have this wall over here. That is not bad. Next up on the agenda. Let's get some black stained window penises and let's just poop them in wherever we can poop them. Uh, I guess like for sliding door purposes, like if you want to do a sliding door, you could maybe do another like color just to kind of represent another color. So there's going to be a window over here. Here we're going to have a door entrance. So let's maybe just do something like this and have this as an open up little part. Let's do the same over here. So this over here is going to be a little door entrance. So let's reach Oh, maybe not. No, let's do it from the other side. Because obviously we're going to have a door entrance over there as well, right? So let's do this and open up that like this. That's going to be a window. So let's not touch this. This over here is going to be a door. So let's get this from this side and open up like a so. I know. It might look a little bit silly at this stage. But you just wait and see. That opens up like this. Perfect. What goes for this window, by the way, like the, this big one, is going to be on the inside. Because on the outside, we will have some spruce wood trap doors just to kind of frame it nicely. So on the on the inside, towards the house, just above the, the stone, a smooth stone, like this. The same goes for the other side. But there's a lot of windows to place. And, uh, and yeah, I hate, it's a pain to place those panes. But I guess it is what it is. No pain, no gain. Up next, let's get some trapdoors in. So we have all the windows in place, right? And if I just place some trapdoors like this, three in height, one, two, and three, it does frame this window quite nicely. Like a so. Perfect. Oh yeah, that is a nice window if I've seen one. And let's do the same on this side to begin with. Um, oh yeah, we can't really. You know what we could do, however? Okay, this might look a little bit silly, but let's say this would be like a little like sliding, uh, I don't know. Don't, don't judge me. I'm just going to place it here for, for like decoration purposes, okay? And I don't really want, don't worry, bore you guys to death. This is going to be a little bit silly on this side, I guess. So let's have this closed on that side. However, this one on this side is going to be opened. A, A, A. That is not bad. So we have those guys and uh, nothing on this. Here we're going to have them all the way on both sides like this. All the way up as far as we can. It does frame the window quite nicely and it does give us a little bit of character. Here on the back, not really that needed, but for privacy's sake, just in case we would uh, have any peeping toms outside, let's just do this then. Perfect. <laughs> Amazing. And yeah, on the inside of those and let's not touch those windows at all. Perfect. Yeah, why not? Not bad and not bad at all. It is taking shape. It might not look exactly as the picture, obviously, but uh, well, it is It is what it is. Let's just jump on the inside. I did mention a fireplace. So let's say we would do, where's the middle of the staircase? There is uh, one, two, one, two. So this is like the middle piece over here. Let's, um, let's make something happen. Doesn't have to be like, whoa, it's the best ever, but let's do this. Uh, let's maybe do one of those. And we could use the new campfires, right? Because I don't think they 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 will um, they will damage the house whatsoever. So let's maybe get this guy. Oh, you know what? Let's maybe get uh, those guys to begin with. Boom, boom. We're gonna have a fireplace on top of that in the backstage. <laughs> hey, uh, a slab maybe. And then, just in case, now nah, nothing's gonna burn. But well, hopefully, hopefully not. Let's get that around like that. Also on the inside. Uh, we will place upside down uh, spruce stairs all the way where we can. From side to side, wherever we can, it's going to be upside down spruce stairs. And that goes, same goes for, for, the, for this part. So it's going to be upside down spruce stairs, just to make it look a little bit nicer. We could keep it as it is. I mean, it doesn't really hurt anybody. But I think upside down spruce stairs, wherever we can, is going to be the way to go. But what do you guys think about this? It is simple, but uh, it is just in the middle. Yeah, let's keep it. Okay, this is like a... 10 second fireplace and from the outside okay it's a little bit on fire over here let's maybe do okay don't judge me because i am no uh, i'm no like a fireplace expert in the game at all and let's just take it up 
Okay, don't judge me. I know people are laughing, Charles. This is a, this is a fat, fat, fatty of a fire uh, a chimney, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, it is. It definitely is. But it does kind of fit this nicely, anyhow. So, like, it's not terrible, not great, but definitely not terrible. And let's just get this going, and maybe even one more campfire just flowing about, and iron bars just in case Santa wants to come down. He ain't allowed, all right? That is perfect. No, I keep it. Yeah, it's pretty much just, let me see here. So the full blocks go one above the, the top of the roof and then uh, the top layer is just a uh, smooth court stairs. This might look quite silly, but I like it. It's got a little skylight just above the door. Just remove the stairs, just place full uh, glass blocks instead and uh, it does work. And you might be, what are those beams? I just place some beams just to give it some character. And I mean... I guess that works, it's just on the top elevation, using the strip oak logs going from side to side, side to side. And uh, yeah, this, I mean, if I would be living here, this would be kitchen slash living room area sometime. And then the rest would be bedrooms and just a family living room in the far end, as I said. Now, I kind of running out of time because I don't want to bore you guys to death. Let's grab this, let's get some smooth quartz, let's turn this wall, let's do... Counting with this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. maybe, where are we? Okay, we're just on this wall over here. And let's rise that up to, what is it, four blocks in height in total. And we're gonna be, I don't know, making some, some shapes out of this. Let's do, let's delete those over here, maybe even this. Let's delete, uh, where are we coming? Over here. Let's delete those over here as well. You might be, but, 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 but. Then let's get some stone and let's take the stone going all the way here. Just to gonna close off the house and this is gonna be going just to the end of that. So what this would be, this would be kind of like a wall to a driveway and then we're gonna have the driveway over here. Yeah, I mean that works and we do the same on this side. But this is just gonna be kind of framing the garden a little bit. And I guess we just take it up to about here maybe. Doesn't have to be, doesn't have to be. This is just for inspiration for you guys. Something like this, and let's grab. Can I place this on the top layer? I can, right? Boom, and boom. Oh yes, that is not bad. And I guess we could do, what do we do in the back? That is the question. So let's say that this over here would be the far end, right? This would be the end of the line. And I guess that meets up with this wall over here. But just to get the shape a little bit nicer, let's maybe do something like so. Just to kind of divide it up and kind of get a nice end. And then in between two of those, let's add some Podzol to twin with. That's going to be going all the way to this pillar. And then all the way to in with, all the way maybe to about here on the wall. And then we can take some acacia or achacha leaves and have those achacha leaves going in three heights. And we have a wall of achacha and nobody can see. Or maybe, I don't know, let me just see here. Okay, that's a little bit creepy, I guess. Uh, well, <laughs> I love it. Okay, that's a little bit creepy. I guess we can still see inside. And also, I did start preparing a little pool area. As you can see over here, so we have... Um, this pool is going to be going pretty much from that pillar all the way to that pillar is going to be three tiles or three blocks away using the light gray concrete powder on this side and three on that side of the wall however only two on the sides but we will however use this we will use the light gray concrete okay i'm gonna be super boring light gray and maybe light blue so the first perimeter is going to be placed with just the concrete and obviously the next layer of that is going to be the light blue and we're also going to have a light blue flooring of the pools. So that's going to be just going around here. And what goes for this side, we're just going to be pretty much just filling that with, uh, with the concrete powder. Because I want, don't want to bore you guys to death. And here, let's get those smooth stones. And let's extend this out maybe by one or two or three. It doesn't really matter. Let's just do one, just, just to be simple. Like this. And the rest of this should just be... Light grey concrete powder, I guess. Boom, and those guys, you know what, let's just maybe place me in between. 
this might not be the, the, the prettiest uh, solution of them all, because obviously over here using like a fence would kind of get some some light in, uh, or at least it would be possible to see the pool from the other side. But uh, yeah, don't judge me. I'm gonna do this and be all happy about it. How are we looking? Kind of perfect. You just wait until the pool is in place. Aquafoli, believe, all right. But let's carve this out. Let's get a pool. Let's fill that with water. And uh, oh my goodness, it's gonna be snazzy. Ladies and gentlemen, we have we have a pool. It is very simple. It is very boring. If you have another design for a pool, please do tweet some pictures. But this will have to do for this house at least. So we have this little pool area. We could do jacuzzis. We could do a bunch of stuff to the pool. And then we have this big area. I guess I'm going to plant a tree here some, somewhere in the far end later on. And you know what? What goes for the front? Um, I'm kind of running out of time. This video has been far, far, far too long. But let's get this extended, maybe even all the way here. So that is four, four blocks outside of the of the front wall over here, like a so. One more thing which we could do is let me see here. Where is that wall? Okay, it's about here. And how about? Yeah, let's do that. I know it doesn't really make any sense, but we could totally make it this, and have a little window over here. Yeah, that might look a little bit silly from the inside, but it does look quite snazzy from the outside. And what goes for this? You know what? Let me just get a shape, a roughly shape uh, laid out. Like this maybe? Okay, don't hate me. Don't hate me. I did a little bit of skippity hop pop pop in the video pop pop. So, so yeah, this is the shape I've got at this stage. Feel free to pause, okay? Count the blocks. It's not rocket science. But I was kind of running out of time, kind of felt like, because I don't really want to bore you guys to death. We have a shape, we have a little bit of bushes. Not really happy with uh, some of the bushes, but they will have to do. So basically the idea is that street that goes somewhere over here, then you park your car, there's the front entrance to the house, and uh, I do have a little front lawn over here, or back lawn over here. Nothing spectacular, but there's a lot of bushes. I will play some trees off camera quickly so you guys can envision on how this might look with uh, with some trees and whatnot. But uh, this is this is not shabby. I, I like this. Like what I really want to do is get some more of those uh, like uh, sky windows over here. Just some simple ones. And we could we could demolish the, the interior ceilings which we've got and then play some windows and, and whatnot. But I feel like yeah, maybe not. Like we would maybe, let me see here. Where does this come? We could maybe demolish some of those guys like this, for example, and just have a little bit of windows here and there, especially like on the door entrances. That would be kind of cool because that would light, let some light in. Like uh, I'm not a professional when it comes to this, but that is what I would do if I would be an architect. Just having a few, okay, that's like the worst sky window ever. But, but let me just show you guys what I mean. Like having those, and then having those on the door entrances, like you come in here, in a normal scenario, that would let some light in on this on the side, right? Same goes for this one, and the same goes for that one. And then having a living room here, just untouched as it is. That is not bad, but let me just get some trees up and running, and then we're gonna resume, and then we're gonna call it quits, but yeah, it's it's something alright. I think I'm pretty happy with this. Are you really? Yeah, I am. I mean, even the little wall here gives us some little privacy. We can have a little uh, table or whatnot over here with some chairs, a bench, a bench, a bench. Beer bees. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a birch, a custom one. And I'm gonna try to find a schematic and link that in the description because uh, birch is kind of fitting for the house itself, in my opinion. But, um, however, in the back, we have a huge oak. Uh, a terrible idea. Oak, pull. Leaves, pull. Hey, it's only game. Why have to be mad, right? And on this side, it's just a little pine, just so you guys can get a feel for how it might look. And you know what? I'm not even mad. I think that looks quite nice. But I really hope you guys got some inspiration. Like, it's far away from the pictures we saw in the beginning of the video, but um, it's not that shabby. Well, there's room for improvements, most definitely. I did copy paste it a little bit, rotated it so you guys can get a vision for how it might look in different, like, sun, set uh, sun settings. But um, yeah, I think I do like it. If you do build it and if you tweak it, please do tweet some pictures of it because I'm eager to see what changes you guys can make because obviously there's a bunch of changes to be made. Like maybe I would have worked more on the uh, skylights, but hey, 
Yeah, they are simple and they kind of work, I guess. So ladies and gentlemen, I am Kerala. Sorry for the super long video. Hopefully you got some inspiration. Hopefully you build a house. Um, and if you do, as I said, just post some uh, pictures on my Twitter. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video. I think it's going to be a Hermitcraft one, by the way, on the channel. But we're going to be back with the Let's Builds very, very, very soon. So um, I am Kerala's. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching. I like him. I like this. Well, I like him. It's the same house, kind of. But I like this. It's not bad. Well, nee. well is that? yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> Kerala's for now. Look into my eyes. Nothing but eyes. See you guys in the next video on the channel. Bye-bye.